Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in San Diego, California with Long Island Audit Sean Paul Reyes as he attempts to audit the state building there. Unfortunately, he encounters somebody who lightly touches him and he throws a bit of a temper tantrum and tries to have them arrested. Oh, poor little guy somebody touched you and you need your safe space don't you you little cry baby huh so why don't you go home if you can't handle this but well he doesn't get any real satisfaction anyway considering that the officers refused to arrest the guy who allegedly assaulted sean so He's all upset about that, too. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today, we're at the State Office Building here in San Diego, California. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're just getting inside the state building here. We have the American flag to our left, directory, first floor, second floor, third floor. Friendly reminder that they're always recording us. And here's your friendly little reminder that those are only security cameras and they're not going to be used to make a profit on YouTube, unlike your videos, which you're going to use to uh, inflate your already... Uh, overinflated ego and sense of uh, self-worth and entitlement. Even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. As we are on the second floor here, district office slash workers comp appeals board. Goes the governor of California. Sir, can we help you with something? Hi, how are you? Good. We see you're filming. Who's we? Myself and another person. Can we help you with something? Oh, who are you, ma'am? I'm a branch chief on the, on the third floor. What can I help you with? And your name? Sir, what are you doing in the building? I just like to know who I'm speaking with. Well, I'd like to know who I'm speaking with. So if you could just tell me. What well, you're you're, you're the, the public servant, right? Okay, let's go down and talk to the security officer, and we can direct you where you need to go. I don't need to speak with anyone, ma'am. Okay. Are you here to see a particular agency? I'm I'm here to look at all the agencies For what and take reason? a look at them. What do you mean? Okay, let me go get the security. Yeah, you could do whatever yeah, you'd I'll like, ma'am. That's fine. All right, everybody. Uh, this video is about 40 minutes long, so I'm going to cut out a lot of dead air and uh, useless circular reasoning to get to the part where he really starts becoming a little crybaby. So let's uh, roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Too early. Prepare to fast forward. Prepare to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. What the hell was that? Hi. Can I ask who you are, please? Uh, hi, who are you, sir? Who are you? I asked you who you are. I have no idea who you are, sir. Um, because I didn't tell you because I asked you a question first and you did not answer. So please take that away. Don't, okay. don't touch go. me. Hey, go somewhere else. hey, hey, go away. Don't touch me. Go away. What is wrong with you? Who are you? There's nothing wrong with me. In case you missed the assault, I'll, uh, replay it in slow motion this time so you can get it in all its glory. I'm sorry, Sean, but uh, I don't think the building has any diapers for you anymore. I mean, you're probably going to have to go to Walmart and pick up a few if you just creamed your pants over that. <laughs> Turn your badge around. Who are you? You're not supposed to be here. Who are you? Unless you who are you? Sir, you came up to me. I didn't come up to your You're office or you. You're filming people for no reason. Who a, are you? In our suite. 
We've had multiple complaints about you already on multiple floors in this building. I have not so been I'm unreasonable. Asking you who you are. Okay, but what makes you think you could just go and put if, your hands on me? What makes you think that you cannot tell me who if you I are? If I want to go put your hands on you, what makes you think you cannot? How would tell you feel who about you that? Let's go back to the beginning. I asked you who you are. You will not. That's not how it me. works. You work for the it public. Is. You are a public servant. Who I are am you? A public servant. Sean, uh, your term usage of. Uh, public servant is merely an attempt to dehumanize these people to make them appear to be subhuman and that they should be at your every beck and call which is well not really the case because a lot of these people have jobs that will deal with a lot of classified information and you are in a spot that will end up having to deal with a lot of classified information but of course, you're one of these idiots that doesn't know what classified means, so, well, that's not their problem, that's your problem. Now get out of the damn building, you moron. I am a member of the public. How would you know that? You're a what employee? I am a member of the public. Okay. So why are you here? Call the police. Do what you need to do. Yeah, because this man needs to get charged for assault. What's wrong with you? You you came up to me you came up to me and immediately assaulted me. Why? And it's all on camera too. Not only my camera but body camera. So go ahead and call the police so we can show them. All right. Well now, like I said, he's gonna go around crying to everybody that he encounters. But let's go ahead and skip on to the part where the police finally get involved. Many, many minutes later. I don't have an ID on me, no, I don't carry ID. What name do you want on the report as a reporting party? Sean. Sean, what's your last name, Sean? Reyes, R-E-Y-E-S. But again, I would really appreciate it if you want, I, I don't necessarily want to press charge, I want you to find the man who assaulted me. He oh, knows who I, he is. I, I understand the He knows who he is, so, so let's get his information first. Well, just let me do. Yeah, uh, okay. Do, My name's Sean Reyes, there you go. Sean Reyes, yep. okay. What's your date of birth, Sean? What time did this um, happen? I would say about 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And this was on the third floor near, um, was it near the elevator? Um, the to the right of the number? elevators. To the to, right, I the hallway. To the right, in the hallway, in yeah. front of the elevators. And all you're asking is for an apology. And yeah, I'm just asking. I would, I'd like to settle it civilly, and we can handle it that way. Again, I, I want to know who he is. He didn't identify himself to me. And I'd like to know his name, what department he works for, so maybe I could follow up with his supervisor on the matter. I think that's the best way to handle it, is to follow up with his superiors. So I would like his name, and I would like an apology for trying to steal my property and assaulting well, me. Well, we don't know if he was trying to steal property. I'm, well, uh, uh, trying to take my property. Either way, he was trying to, or stop me from recording, whichever way. He did try to do something unlawful. No, Sean. If he was one of the administrators of that building who is in charge of the policy of that building, then you are in the wrong for recording to begin with when there were signs telling you not to do so. I mean, it is... Even it may be state property, but you can still be trespassed and all that other good stuff. But you know what? You're not getting trespassed out of this place at this time. I know that. But you're going to sit here and cry and whine about not getting your way. And you're not going to get that apology at this time. At least that none that I know of. And that's the whole damn point. You want that guy to come back there and lick your damn boots. You want him to get down on his knees and beg for your forgiveness. That's what you want. That is what you want your audience to see, that you are the one in charge. When that's not the case at all, you are a just a pathetic little man who's trying to act like he's the biggest man on the planet when that is not the case. You have no power here. You never had any power here, and you never will. So why don't you go suck it up, buttercup, and go home to uh, Long Island and cry your little eyes out, you little crybaby. And can you describe this person? Um, heavy set, glasses, button down, 
uh, plaid shirt. And uh, he's about five, six, five, seven. Did he identify himself to you? No, not at all. His family got I believe he was uh, white. And just to make sure I got this right, with his right hand, he touched your left hand? With his, he tried to grab my camera. You know what he did? What did, oh, he, what did he do? His right hand, he touched my left hand. Touched your left yeah. hand with his right hand. Grabbed so my left hand. So that was the extent. Hand. Did he touch it? Did he grab it? Did he... Or did it he would, try to grab it? He touched it. So trying touched to grab it. it. Okay. Oh my goodness, Sean. You are so damn pathetic. I mean, there are people in this world that serve in the military and get beat up on a daily basis. There are those who get into contact sports and get up get beat up on a daily basis just for the fun of it. I myself got trained in professional professional wrestling and I got quite a few love taps from those in the ring and that's part of the whole show. You get knocked around and uh but these guys that they would knock me around they weren't trying to hurt me anyway but they just had to make it look good and sometimes it hurt like hell. But not once did I ever complain. The only complaint I ever heard was one of the wrestlers getting their feet burned because of a hot wrestling mat. I mean, it was in the middle of summertime during the hottest part of the year, and it was a black canvas mat, and he was wearing uh, practically nothing on his feet, so understandable. But the point is, he at least had a reason to whine and complain about uh, some pain. Okay. Yes. He touched with his right hand, he touched your left hand. That's correct, yeah. All right, sir. Give me a few minutes. Sure, no problem. I'll wait here. Please. Sure. All right. Many unbearable hours later. All right. So, would you be willing to show me the footage just to make sure that I I talked, spoke to the right person? I spoke to someone that described the incident just like the one that you spoke yep. to. Yep. So, uh, but I don't know. The clothing doesn't match to what you described. Okay, I might have been wrong. But here he is. Hi. Hi, who are you, sir? So. so you can see the whole encounter. Probably just comes out of him. Yeah, sure. Do what you need to do. Hi. Can I ask you who you are, please? Uh, hi, who are you, sir? Who are you? I asked you who you are. I have no idea who you are, sir. Oh, because I didn't tell you because I asked you a question first and you did not answer, so please take that away. Don't. Don't touch me. Hey, somewhere else. Hey. Hey. Go away. Don't touch me. What is wrong with you? Who are you? Is that the wrong thing to do? Turn your badge around. Who are you? I'm supposed to be here. Who are you? Who are you? Sir, you came up to me. I didn't come up to your office or you. You're people for no reason. Who are you? In our suite. We've had multiple complaints about you already on multiple floors in this building. I have not been asking you who you are. Okay, but what makes you think you can just go and put your hands on me? What makes you think that you cannot tell me? If I want to go put your hands on you, what makes you think you cannot tell me? How would you feel about that? Let's go back to the beginning. I asked you who you That's are. basically it. That's how it works. You work for the public. You are a public servant. Who I am are a you? public servant. I am a member of the public. How would you know that? Yeah. I am a member of the public. Okay. So why are you here? Call the police. Do what you need to do. Yeah, because this man needs to get charged for assault. What's wrong with you? Okay. You, you came up to me. You came up to me and immediately assaulted me. Why? And it's all on camera, too. Not only my camera, but body camera. So go ahead and call the police so we can show them, all right? All right. Kind of why I wanted to make sure I don't have somebody downstairs. Yeah, because I can get assaulted. I'm not the danger. At this point, I already had spoken to security here, the security guard that's actually stationed here. At this point, I already had spoken to him, and I explained to him my name, what was I doing here. Um, this individual just took it upon itself to do what he did. Okay. Uh, 
Are you willing to identify yourself, show me an ID to document? What's his, what's his name? What's his information? It would be on a report that I, I will file that you're requesting for me to, to uh, document this incident and I will, and it will be available to you, but I need to, to identify yourself. I cannot just disclose his information. It's not private. I'm, I'm putting a, I'm putting a complaint against him. So I should uh, know his, I should be able to know. But on the, by the same token, I need to know who I'm giving this information. Okay. To. I'll, listen, I'm going to give you my identification. Will, okay. will you, will you provide me with his name before I leave here today? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to investigate the incident. This is the party that you interrupted with. Uh, I'm going to ask you not to go look for him. Not to, you don't need to talk to him anymore. I got all the information I need for my incident report. So I'll, I'll What's that report number? I don't have that. I'm going to pull that number because um, I have to go back to the office or, or get a number from the office. So that will happen later. But... Uh, but it'll be documented. And uh, what is your plan? How, are you done with your footage that you need to get from this place? Yeah, um, um, I've gotten all the footage I need to. I've, I've been to all three floors and there was nothing else I needed to conduct here. No, my business uh, is concluded here. Well, of course you got the uh, footage that you wanted. because. But then again, it makes you look like a damn crybaby. I mean, it makes you look like a little wussy boy. Why would you post this anyway? I mean, post something where you actually uh, get assaulted, not something where somebody, oh, touches you and you turn into a little wussy boy. I mean, come on now. Uh, how would you be able to survive a day in prison should you ever go back? I mean, the, you would get uh, they taken right to protective custody because, well, you couldn't handle it in there. But I do believe you've already been in prison and they did have to put you in protective custody because you were a little whiny crybaby when you were in prison. I mean, nothing's really changed about you. And this is pretty much where I'm going to leave it off right here because, well, all he does from this point on is cry about the little incident that he had. I mean, he's such a pathetic little boy. At any rate, guys, I hope you had enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.